pre-patch, you boosted a druid, and you don't know what to do for talents, I gotcha. Pre-patch is here, ferals are good, boomies are okay, and restos are the same. Let's get into it, talents and glyphs. Let's start with boomkin first. We're going straight in, we need the wrath, we need the starfire. Next up, I'm grabbing nature's majesty and improved moonfire. Gotta have the moonfire do more damage. And then our filler talent here, moonglow. Boomkin still have mana issues, so moonglow is a good filler option here. Uh, Genesis is also a good filler. I kind of want to go full burst, so I'm going to do use Genesis as a filler. If you need more sustain, I would go for Moonglow, uh, as it's going to be a 3% reduction on a lot of your spells here. Next up, Nature's Splendor and Nature's Grace. Uh, wonderful talents here. Great for Boomkin. Great for Resto, too. But I don't think there's enough talent points for Resto to grab both of these. Another must-have talent here, Nature's Reach. Next up, Vengeance. We want to crit big. That's it. The big Starfires, the big Wraths. Gotta hit hard, Vengeance. Another thing to grab here, Celestial Focus. Increasing some haste here and gonna be reducing the pushback on Starfire. Now for PvP, I, I don't think Improved Insect Swarm is that good. I think it's a skippable row here. I am also grabbing Lunar Guidance, more spell power, more big, fat, filthy Starfire crits. Um, speaking of damage, Moon Fury. 10% damage to all your big spells. That's incredible. Um, Moonkin Form is why we are here in the balance. Balance of Power is a very good talent for PvP. It's not only going to make you hit cap, but reduce damage taken from all spells. Those boosted mages and warlocks out there trying to trying to one-tap you with them palm pyros. Get them, get them out of here. All right, next up, I'm grabbing Moon Improved Moonkin. This isn't this is necessary if you're down this far in the tree. More spell damage, haste, and spell damage. Clutch for the Boomkins. From here on out, Boomkins are just spoiled. Wrath of Scenarios, bigger Starfires, bigger Wrath. Let's go. Typhoon is amazing. Force of Nature, great damage cooldown. Range is Cyclone. The Cyclone range is 20 yards. Pumping that to 24 is going to really save you. Now I'm grabbing Earth and Moon, Eclipse, Starfall for sure. Starfall does so much damage, it's impossible to not take an Alkin Frenzy. That leaves us with five talents. I, I'm grabbing Improved Mark. A lot of Boomkin relies on stats. Lunar Guidance, the improved Moonkin doing extra spell damage from Spirit and Intellect. This is huge. Grabbing this extra stats here is great. For the last three, um, I'm grabbing Nature's Focus. So that is what I'm going to be running. So that is going to be a 5605 for Boomkin. Your glyphs for balance are self explanatory, but they are fire. And I say that because your two glyphs are Glyph of Starfire and Glyph of Moonfire. Glyph of Starfire is going to increase the duration of your Moonfire, and then Glyph of Moonfire is going to increase your periodic damage dealt by your Moonfire at the, at the cost of the initial damage being lowered. Overall, a DPS increase. And for miners, Glyph of Dash, very good. It's going to reduce the cooldown of your Cat Dash. Glyph of Rebirth, going to remove the seed cost and just, just a quality of life glyph, like a lot of miners are. Another quality of life glyph is glyph of the wild uh which is just going to reduce the mana cost of your gift and mark of the wild that is boomkin next up one of my favorites as you can see i've had staff of natural fury here and all my uh my phase one tbc druid here feral got a lot for pvp and i'm just going to go real quick here gotta have ferocity ferocity is going to have priority over feral aggression for me at the start and then i'm going into feral instinct because i can't be caught stealth and 20% increased damage on some of these skills with Savage Fury is way bigger than going back and getting that extra boost on Ferocious Bite. So I'm then grabbing Feral Swiftness for 30% increase in cat form. When you're doing damage as Feral, you're going to be in cat. You got to have the movement speed. It's necessary. So grab that. Survival Instinct, a defensive cooldown you can use in cat form. Got to have that for PvP. Next up, I'm grabbing Sharpen Claws, 6% crit, opening up the next row. Now this is a big row. So Predatory Strikes, this is going to be huge and give you a lot of utility when you are feral. It's going to cause your finishing moves to give you a chance to uh, insta-cast cyclones and healing touches and roots. Wonderful skill here. Insta-clones insta are crazy. Next up, reducing the energy cost of shred by 18 is insane for your DPS. You're going to want to get behind people and shred them. Next up, I'm grabbing feral charge and going back and grabbing primal fury. Primal fury is going to give you more combo points, which means more finishing moves, which means more clo insta clones, more insta heals, wonderful things like that. And then from the row with Feral Charge, grab Brutal Impact. I think it's really huge for CC. Having an extra second and reduced cooldown of Bash, I think it's very important. Heart of the Wild is free attack power, opening up Leader of the Pack. And Primal Tenacity is good for PvP as it's going to reduce the duration of fear effects and also reduce damage taken while stunned. So if you get caught in a Hodge, 30% damage reduction, you can probably survive it with a, with a healer on you. I'm not grabbing Infected Wounds. Three in the protector. 
more attack power, predatory instincts, more damage, one in mangle, and king of the jungle. King of the jungle is going to give you a good little energy boost with tiger fury. And then these down here are so necessary for damage. It's crazy. Um, Ren and tear, primal gore, berserk. Got to have those. This is going to allow your dots to crit and just do more damage in general. From here, I think you're going to get into the personal preference mode. Um, you could go into restoration and grab the naturalist for the 4% increased physical damage um, in all forms. You're only going to be able to get this to 8%, which is a, which is a huge uh, damage boost. But if you want more sustainability, grabbing things like nurturing, nurturing instinct and primal precision are going to help you survive a little bit longer. And uh, primal precision here is going to make things flow a little better. But m I myself am grabbing two in here, three in Fuhrer and four in the naturalist. And that is going to be my feral tree for pre-patch wrath. Another uh, notable talents you can grab, uh, improved leader of the pack, decent in BGs. Um, I wouldn't take it if you're running an arena build, which nobody is right now because we're all grinding on her, but I'm pulling this out. I'm going two in the leader. I myself am just taking baseline leader for the 5% crit. Uh, that's good enough for me. Feral glyphs. Glyph of rip and glyph of shred are the best glyphs available right now for your two majors. Glyph of rip is going to be increasing the duration of your big dot finisher rip. And similar to the balance uh, glyphs, Glyph of Shred is going to be acting like the Starfire is in the balance glyphs, extending the rip effect on your target. So rip being your big dot finisher and Shred's coming in and extending that, just going to increase your DPS. So wonderful glyphs to take. I'm taking the same minor glyphs for Feral as I am for balance, the dash, rebirth, and mark. So that is going to be Feral. Now for Resto, there are kind of there are two schools of thought here. You can either go down balance and kind of have a more a dot focus build where you're grabbing insect swarm from balance and foregoing tree and wild growth i myself i play druids to shape shift whether that's going feral going moonkin or going for the tree so what i'm going to do here is grabbing three in the focus here two in mark skipping naturalist it feels good with the reduced cast time of healing touch but subtlety is very important for resto is going to keep a 30 percent a little avoidance to your helpful spells um, from being dispelled. You're gonna have all these hots up on different targets. You need them to stay on. Next up, I'm going all into natural shapeshifter, which is gonna open up my tree for 4% increased healing. Omen is great, intensity good for mana. Next up, improve juve all the way there. Next up, NS or nature swiftness. This is gonna be our oh shit button. Need, need to have that. Next, I'm grabbing gift five and gift of nature to open up swift mend and just flat healing increase wonderful five to nature's bounty back into swift mend here and once people see that you're a healer they're going to come after you so i'm going to grab some nature perfection here reduce all damage taken by four percent stacking three times next up living seed is a must but also empower reju which is opening tree which is opening improved tree all very necessary this armor contribution from improved tree of life can really help out when you get focused improve bark spin <laughs> bark spin improve bark skin improve bark skin necessary because you need to live so let's just keep it at that uh next up i'm grabbing earth mother boom giving me 55 talents in resto that i find are necessary next up i'm going to balance grabbing five in genesis and that's going to give me one left over for either empowered touch to make your ns oh shit button better um one in revitalize a little more mana or living spirit you're gonna increase your healing i'm just gonna grab living spirit restoration glyphs Unfortunately, right now, there is really only one option that I see. Um, if you're going for a full healing touch build, which is a lot of casting, and I don't recommend for PvP, I'm going to avoid the healing touch glyph, as it's going to reduce the cast time and make healing touch better, but it's going to reduce the healing effect like crazy, which it sounds good up front, but when you're using nature's swiftness to cast healing touch on people for your uh, emergency moments, and with that glyph, it's going to make that a lot weaker. So I'm, I'm skipping that and just running one major glyph, Glyph of Rejuvenation. And what that does is when your target is below 50% health, your Rejuve is going to tick bigger and badder. So, free healing on low targets. It's great. Thanks for watching. That is the pre patch Druid Talents. Quick rundown. Hope to see you out there with your boomers, with your cats, with your trees. Hope it helped. If it did, throw this video a like. And I'll uh, catch you the next one. Love you.